five weeks out at 142 pounds. I'm down 0.8 pounds from last week and I'm officially 12.8% body fat, which is 2% down from four weeks ago. Hi, this is Mimi. This week zoomed by for me, probably because I absolutely changed nothing in terms of my diet and exercise. So I'm gonna give you a quick update and share some of my arm exercises today. I got this boo-boo on my thigh and people see it from a mile away. They're like, oh my God, what the heck happened to you? Body fat testing. Yeah, it's pretty hard pinching that thigh, let me tell you. My diet stayed pretty much the same at 1600 calories. So high protein, 225 grams and varying levels of carbs anywhere from 100 to 125 grams depending on my workout day for that week. So if I'm lifting a bigger muscle group like legs or back, I'm higher carbs and lower fat and vice versa. Unfortunately, I'm still doing double sessions, AM, PM cardio sessions for fear of doing too much cardio in the morning so that I'm you know, losing my muscle mass, but I still want that fasted AM cardio for fat loss. So I'm doing that and definitely taking BCA, of course, to help prevent that muscle loss. I'm also trying to do some hits before my low intensity cardio sessions when I can and if my body can take it. So that consists of kettlebell swings, three sets of 20, and rowing for a thousand meters, always trying to beat my time. I've been semi neglecting my ab workouts and kind of half assing them at the end. Um, in terms of my cardio, I almost got all of my cardio time in this week um, and the 100 Arnold's broomstick ab twist at night, every other night. I haven't been doing them. Um, actually, I didn't do them at all this week and my PT exercises kind of here and there. So yeah, crap, not that great. I feel like I'm on this crazy vicious cycle and sometimes I'm just plain pooped. So when my rest day comes, I feel like I'm so entitled to just be weak and very vegetable-like. Like, can you please push that door open for me? Next week is four weeks out and I'm like, crap, I know it's gonna hit me and I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to be on stage in like no time. So coming up is going to be getting cut, getting shredded, my photo shoot, tanning and water strategy. Now for some arms. I absolutely love working out triceps. It helps you get rid of this flab under here or I guess this flab that was there. Um, and for those of you who don't know, triceps means try for three muscle groups on your arm and if it's really well developed it actually looks like a horseshoe dips and skull crushers are great for general muscle building one of my favorite tricep exercises are dips because uh, it's pretty hard the average dip for a female is zero and same thing for pull-ups <laughs> You can superset these with cable tricep rope pushdowns to really isolate the three heads of the tricep. There are so many combos you could do and so many exercises for triceps. So anytime you flex your arm and it's straight, you're working your tricep. This is a reverse grip one arm extension supersetted by skull crushers. It's awesome that you can spot yourself on these. These are the skull crushers, also called French curls. And I didn't get my intended rep range here, so I did finish off with close grip presses. Um, you could also choose a heavier weight and actually have that as part of a triple set. And you can even make it a giant set and add on bench dips as the fourth exercise. Here's one variation to the standard exercises, a one arm behind the head cable extension. My most hated body part to work out is actually biceps. Ironic because of course it's one of the favorite body parts for guys to work out because it's that, you know, show off piece. If I only had to choose two exercises, I would choose the standing barbell curl to gain size and then the incline dumbbell curls for definition. This is my last set of standing barbell curls, increasing the weight on each set. And this one is 35 pounds. And near the end, um, sometimes you do need to cheat a bit just to get it up. And since it's my last one, I'm increasing the intensity by dropping the weight to 45 pounds and finishing off. 
Oh, and the key to any bicep exercise is really to squeeze at the top when you curl. And of course you can always throw in some partials in there. A great superset to do is underarm pull-ups and then standing barbell curls. Pull-ups do work your back, but these, this version really does tax your biceps, so it makes those curls twice as hard. Another interesting variation is a pull-up that works your back, your biceps, and especially your forearms by holding the ends of a towel and pulling yourself up that way. This is nothing crazy inclined dumbbell curls, but it's my favorite. You could do it doing regular curls, you could do it alternating curls, you could do it hammer curls. There are a million versions of preacher curls, and this is one of them, the one arm preacher curl with the dumbbell. I like to do full ranges, and then partial ranges with holds, and then full ranges again, and it just really makes it burn that much more. I do these sometimes double cable bicep curls. I have to say it's one of the more motivating exercises because if you do them in front of a mirror, you kind of see your guns pop. Those are some of the exercises I do for arms. Don't ignore minor detail. They are the key to your success. Next Wednesday is going to be about how to get cut and shredded. Please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.